Moonbase Alpha status report, 1,807 days after leaving Earth orbit. Dr. Helena Russell recording. A derelict spaceship has appeared in our third quadrant. Commander John Koenig and Security Officer Tony Verdeschi are en route to investigate. The question is, could its sudden appearance be connected with the fact that our science officer, Maya, has developed a high fever of unknown origin, which has so far resisted all medication? Mentor! Don't do it, Mentor! You must leave Psychon! Don't do it, Mentor! We have to leave the planet. Take it easy, Maya. Mentor! Mentor! Maya! Flames all around me. Volcanoes erupting. You have a very high fever. As soon as we can bring it down, you'll be all right. Is there anything you want? I'm afraid. I'm afraid, Helena. Where's Tony? I want Tony. He'll be here soon. Okay. Alan, contact Eagle One. Ask them to return as soon as possible. I'm worried about Maya. Will do. Son, will you get Eagle One on the big screen and open up a channel? Moonbase Alpha calling Commander Koenig. This is Moonbase Alpha calling Commander Koenig. Come in, please. Commander Koenig, come in, please. Go ahead, Alpha. John, we'd like an ETA on your return. Alan is worried. We'll return after we board the derelict ship. <laughs> find out as soon as we have time. All right, everybody, back to your stations. Maintenance. How long before you can restore full power? I'll give you a time as soon as we locate the source of the trouble, Mr. Carter. Can you get Eagle One on the big screen? locate them. What did this to us? I'm not sure yet. Keep trying. Nothing. What's our position? That was our position. This is our position now. We have moved five light years in a matter of minutes. We've gone through a space warp. 
There's no chance of the Commander ever making it back to Alpha. Unless he can find a window in the space warp. <laughs> well, the chances of that are pretty remote. What's our present velocity? Back to normal. Get ready to launch a refueling eagle. Yes, sir. Yeah. I know it's a long shot. But if they can find that space warp, then they're going to need refueling to get back to Alpha. Eagle one to Moonbase Alpha. Come in, Alpha. Oh, it's no good, John. I just can't get a fix on them. There's only one answer, Tony. They must have gone through a space warp. They could be billions of miles away. We have fuel for less than a million. Might not make any difference even if we had all the fuel we needed. Yeah. We wouldn't even know which direction to go in. beginning to lose molecular control. I don't know what will happen. You've got to put me in restraints. Why, I can't do that. You've got to! I can be dangerous! Put me in restraints! Ben, prepare a sedative. Okay, put her in restraints then. Alan, I must speak to Eagle One. You have to tell her, Alan. Tell me what? That's shaking. We went through a space warp. Eagle One is on the other side of it. We are five light years from our last position. So, forgive me for prescribing, but you need some rest. If there are any developments, Helena. What are his chances? Well, you know, John, he won't give up. What are the chances of his finding that same door in space? It depends. On what? On luck. Luck. Space. I guess his chances are a billion to one. Helena, if I can.
I got a rest period now. Do you want a coffee? Hey! Emergency in weapons section. I heard. All security personnel, there's a dangerous creature loose on Alpha. Take no chances. Put your laser guns on kill. Take no chances. Kill on sight. All non-essential personnel to remain in their quarters. This creature is dangerous. I repeat, this creature is dangerous. Security, kill on sight. turned into some kind of a space creature. Look, I'm all right, but there's no telling what she might do. She's already been doing it. Alan's orders are to kill on sight. Alan, you've got to cancel that kill order. Hey, now, wait a minute. That creature is... That creature is Maya. She can't control what she's doing. Top priority. All personnel, don't shoot to kill. Change to stun. Shall we try number 11? No, let's try erase alpha on the screen. I guess there are going to be no miracles today. How about that derelict? Its power pods could be the same as ours, and we might be able to use its fuel store if it's got any left. Yeah, you never know, we could get lucky. What have we got to lose? the upper levels, but we're staying clear, as you ordered. Hey, don't lose contact, but stay out of reach, huh? Tranquilizer dots are almost ready. Okay. But how much to be used? Too little, no effect. Too much, death. Let's hope this is the correct dosage. Well, the stun guns have had little effect, Helena. This has more of a kick. Mr. Carter, it seems to be making its way towards the travel tube. Mm -hmm. The travel tube? When Maya was delirious, she was hallucinating about Psychon, that her father was still alive and that she had to save him. Well, you think it's making for the Eagles? Yeah, and if she gets onto one and starts off, she'll be making a one-way trip to a planet that's no longer there. Thank you. 
Fat Four, come on. Trapped underground. We've hit it with stun guns, tranquilizer darts, and she's still on her feet. Oh boy, what do we do now? We go in after it. Alan! If she makes it to an eagle and takes off, there's no way we can help her. Come on, we'll try the alternate travel tube. <laughs> This is top priority alert. Block travel tube tunnel one. Permit rally to hit. Launch area. Launch area. What's going on there? Launch area. Mr. Carr, we've been attacked. Yeah, okay, I figured that. Where's it gone now? In Eagle Four. Tomb's already retracting. We can't let it be off. I'll bring her down. going on inside. The anesthetic is beginning to have effect. I'll bring it in. Right. over it now. Get the rescue unit on the double.
dying. Oh, can't you save her? I've never seen this species before. Its anatomy and vital functions are unknown to me. Well, you've got to do something. Maya, change back. Please, change back. That anesthetic dart really worked. Its metabolism can't cope with it. The pressure's in here, somewhere. We've nothing to compare. We've never seen anything like this before. We've insufficient knowledge of this species to know what that's all about. We can't treat its injuries. Just stand here and let Maya die? Look. The creature's blood. If we treat it, it could upset the corpuscle balance. We don't know what the hell we're dealing with. Helena? How long ago did Maya transform into this? About 45 minutes ago. Okay, now look, you're afraid to operate because you're unfamiliar with its anatomy, right? Well, Maya can't hold this form for longer than one hour. We've only got to wait another 15 minutes. But she doesn't have 15 minutes. Ben, will you assist me, please? If you operate, you could kill her. At least you'll have a chance. We'll make our incision right here. If we can stop that blockage. What if it's not a blockage? What if it's natural tissues performing a natural function? Let's find that out. All right. Here we go. Dr. Russell? Heart fibrillating, pulse erratic. You can't operate. She won't make it. Maya, you've got to change now. You've got to change right now. Alan, I think she hears me. See if the fuel supply is adaptable to our eagles. Yeah, okay.
obviously a data bank. John, that power room is amazingly sophisticated. It's way beyond our capabilities. Maybe the answer lies here. Look at that one. It's a different color. Hmm. Yeah. If it's any consolation to him, we know how he felt. We owe him. We owe him for pointing the way. 26. This stage of the operation is critical. The data shown must be fed into our onboard computer and linked to yours. The correct coordinates will be obtained by connecting the space warp locator to your computer's navigational programmer and the Menon's computer activated. The rest of the procedure is relatively simple. Simple? Hmm. Wish we had Maya here. Well, we don't. John, it's a hell of a long shot. Yeah. But it's a shot. Let's find that locator. Travel tube clear. Check. Life support. Anything? It's not in this area, Mr. Carter. Check. Attention all security personnel. All the corridors are clear. The travel tubes are clear. The life support area is clear. Levels C and D are clear. Now check levels A and B. Got to be somewhere on this base. If Maya's still in control, if her brain is still feverish, she'll be trying to get to Psychon. The launch pads are sealed off. She cannot get to an eco. Well, it might take a little time, but we'll find her. John. Tony? 
Harry. I found it. Yeah, this is it. Let's transfer it to Eagle One and see if it works. John, even if we do break through that space warp and come out the other side, we're never going to catch up with Alpha. We don't have enough fuel. Tony, it's my hunch that everyone on Alpha is working on that contingency. Now, come on. Sam, will you perch me into the refueling eagle? Moon base Alpha to Eagle 3. Moon base Alpha to Eagle 3. Eagle 3 to Moon base Alpha. Go ahead. Gary, what's your ETA? ETA to rendezvous point, 7 minutes, 12 seconds. Rendezvous point, we hope. When you reach the rendezvous point, I want you to cruise the area. For how long? Well, until I give you further notice. Miss Carter, we cornered the animal at 7. It seems hell-bent on getting out of Alpha. Right, we're on our way. Still trying to get this icon. If she smashes that airlock. Uh huh. Explosive decompression will wipe out everybody in this section of Alpha. You guys set on stun. Computer, open the inner door to airlock seven. What are you doing? If that breaks through the outer airlock door onto the surface, she'll die instantly. Computer, close the inner door to airlock seven. Ben, I need an anesthetic gas cylinder at airlock seven immediately. Right, I'm on my way. In that confined space, the anesthetic should have an immediate effect. stores water. Yeah. How long will it last, though? What matters is that Maya can only hold that form for an hour. You want us to follow you, sir? No, not just yet. Get yourself suited up and wait for a command round in airlock C. Yes, sir. Come on, Hunter. Have you got visual? It's approaching area Copernicus of the Copernicus Depression. Its pace has slowed. Right. Slowed, huh? Must be running out of air.
Okay, John. I should now be hooked up to your onboard computer. We have link up. I'm going to activate. Okay, I've got all the coordinates. Now all we have to do is understand them. All right, I'm coming aboard. Factor. Uh, port thruster, 22.2 second burn. Inertia factor, green plus two. Green plus two. 
plus two. That's it. Oh, here are the coordinates. Let's hope they're the right ones. Well, if Alpha can do it, so can we. She's still breathing. Vera, Maya, can you hear me? Change now, Maya. Uh, you're not making contact. She's been this for for nearly an hour. She can't hold it much longer. She hasn't come back as Maya the last couple of times. What happens is she transforms into something even worse. None. Refueling Eagle, maintaining position. And they have nothing to report either? Just that they are almost at the point of no return. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, well, that's something. At least we've got full power again. Alan, look. I am getting peculiar readings from the area of the refueling Eagle. There's nothing on the screen. There is something, Alan. Sensors are picking up an enormous disturbance. Sensors, readings increasing in magnitude. Hey, do you see what I see? surprise for you. Take a look at your screen. Break link with derelict. normal. <sighs> the restraints. You don't need them. But I'm dangerous. Not anymore. All life signs stable. Fever's gone. How do you feel? Like I've been riding the tail of a comet for 
days on end. We all do. Thank you. I want you to tow the derelict back to Alpha. Yes, sir. We're bringing the derelict in. How come you got the derelict in tow? It's a long story, Alan. What is it? Something special about it. <laughs> Would you believe a friendly alien? We'll believe anything you say. Just get back to Alpha. Right. Oh, and have Maya stand by so she can apply her beautiful scientific mind to reveal the mysteries of this magnificent marvel. As soon as she's awake. What? You mean she's asleep? Well, how about that? We've been beating our brains out trying to jump back through a space warp, and they've been doing nothing back on Alpha except catching up on their sleep. Well, you can't blame them, Tony. If nothing's going on in Alpha, the least they can do is get a little relaxation. Right, Helena? Right, John. Absolutely nothing has been going on down here on Alpha. We have been all perfectly relaxed. <laughs>